Hi, this is just going to be a quick video confirming a claim that uh, Kip K made in a recent video a day or two back about how you can determine the state of charge in an alkaline battery by actually dropping it onto a surface and one that is fully charged will uh, won't bounce at nearly as much as one that is uh, empty. So I thought I'd uh, just test this. Now I was originally going to uh, do this as like a, a more scientific like investigation because in the Kip K video it was ridiculous He used two different brands of battery, you know, that's that's just crazy So I thought I'd at least do like a proper scientific investigation controlled experiment kind of thing where I dro uh, Controlled the drop height out of tubes and I got different brands and makes of battery and I controlled the discharge rate and measured the capacity and all sorts of uh, stuff like that but I just decided, no, I'll just do a very quick video to see, uh, just off the bat, just drop in a couple of the same brand, same batch battery, and see if it actually works. So here it goes. So this is not my scientific investigation. This is just a quick confirmation. And I'm going to do it in one shot here so that nobody thinks, you know, there's any trickery or anything going on here. Now, the claim, of course, is that if you drop batteries like this, here we go. If you drop them like that, a fully charged one, a full battery will uh, sort of won't bounce as much as an empty battery. And what I've got here is I've already discharged. Uh, well, I've got uh, Duracell ones here, and I've got Vata brand alkaline, and I've already discharged one, and I've marked those with the black marker on top. So they've already been discharged and I discharged them on my electronic uh, load over here at half an amp and um, this has got a battery discharge mode on it. I discharged at half an amp until they reached uh, 0.8 volts and you can see that the Vata ones um, are definitely, you know, there it is trying to draw half an amp. It's only half a volt. Okay, so this is pretty crap. If I can get that back out, sorry. There we go. And the Duracell one is how it has a little bit more charge, but it's down to 0.8 volts at half an amp. So not a problem. Now I'll measure these with my meter and the to make sure the other ones are good. Here we go. Sorry, I got to get in the one shot. Otherwise, people will think I'm uh, having them on. So these are the flat ones, of course. They've regained a bit of the voltage because they're under no load there, but uh, trust me, they're, uh, well, they're fully discharged if you know your battery chemistry. There you go, the brand new uh, Vada and the brand new Duracell. And yes, they're from the exact same batch, same packet, okay? So we have a nicely fully charged and essentially an empty one. And I was gonna weigh them with precision scales and all that sort of stuff, but this is not my scientific investigation. So I'm gonna just switch my GoPro on here so I can uh, capture this. And here we go. And in high speed, so maybe I'll get some high speed footage out of this thing. And I'm gonna drop them onto my rubber ESD mat here, which of course isn't the best uh, experiment. It isn't the best surface because this thing is going to vary based on surface. Now, I originally thought that, um, you know, it'll be hard to differentiate this thing. It wouldn't be as simple as the Kip K video, but here it goes, okay? Here is a fully uh, charged one. I'm going to drop it from the height of the battery and, and it almost went with a thud. And I can actually get them to stand up as claimed in, there we go, as claimed in the Kip K video. Now, I will drop the discharged one and you'll notice that it bounces more it most definitely bounces more than the other one and it is quite I ha oh there we go i can get it to stand up but it, even on this rubber esd mat which is going to absorb some of that imp impact and dampen that um, you can clearly see that the empty one does bounce more so there you go i'll try a few different uh, surfaces let's get a uh red perspex uh, base here and let's see what happens. Here we go, empty. You can see that it bounces a couple of times. So let's get the full one and see, more of a thud. You don't get that second bounce, really. It, there we go. 
they can't get it to stand up, it's often a bit difficult from that height. If we go from a uh, lesser height, you've got more chance of that. And I was going to do a proper drop rig, like a tube that control drop them and stuff like that. But as you can see, you can see even on this kind of surface, it makes a difference. Now, let's get the Varta ones here, the Varta brand. Here we go. Here is the fully charged one. And you can see it just does that sort of single thud. There we go. And the empty, it bounced at least that second time. You see it? It bounced much higher. Maybe I should be able to get that on the uh, GoPro. There we go. I got it to stand up. But as you can see, it really does bounce a lot higher. It's hard to see them both at the same time. But yeah, this isn't the best surface. So let's try uh, some other surfaces. I will have to uh, eventually um, swap camera shots. Fully charged. There we go. We really only get that single sort of thud. There's a little bounce in there. But now the empty. See? Look at that. Definitely, you can get it to stand up still, but it certainly is, there's much higher bounce on that. And at the same time, there you go. So that's definitely confirmed on, on you know, most surfaces, but yes, it does make a difference what surface you're on. Let's try another table surface here. Here we go, fully charged, thud, empty. Definitely huge bounce, look at that. Same time, yep, big difference. Oh, see, so almost got the empty to stand up there. And the Vata one, empty, huge bounce. And the full, not nearly as big a bounce. Thud. So there you have it. That is uh, myth confirmed. Really, it does do it. But it's in practice, it's probably not as easy as Kip K makes out because you sort of, you know, you have to know about the surface. I am able to get some of the empty ones to go thud. I haven't done, you know, a complete uh, scientific thing here. This was just a quick test to confirm it. But definitely, it does do it. But really, I think in practice, you've got to have a good one and a bad one to be able to uh, compare on a given surface, I think. So there's obviously some sort of uh, electrochemistry effect that's happened inside there that affects the uh, dampening inside the battery, the vibrational mode and dampening of the battery. But like I said, to get, you know, to really understand this process, you'd have to go into the chemistry of these things. You'd, you know, have to do proper uh, vibration and drop testing with accelerometers on them to get some, you know, really good data and uh, stuff like that. I don't have the gear to do that anymore. I used to, but anyway, I thought that was rather interesting. And yeah, myth confirmed. Uh, would you want to use it day to day? I guess in a pinch. You could use the technique to determine whether or not it's empty. But the easiest way to do that is to stick the battery in your product and see if it works. If it works, it's good. Ugh. Catch you next time.